Hi everyone, welcome to the first part of a multi-part pro render for 3ds Max ArtViz project. Uh, the project is based on a marketing suite that the uh, company I work for built over in East London, the uh, Royal Albert Wharf. And we've also photographed a project which has given me some decent reference images to work from and some focal length and exposure details. And you can find these on Flickr. I'll put the link in the description to the uh, folder. And there's a link to the marketing suite on Google Earth. It's westerly facing, so it gives me um, lighting details for the environment. Um, and I've got the from the EXIF data, I've got the time date stamps, so that will go straight into the render as well. Um, download links for ProRender product project uh, plugin for Studio Max will be found in the description as well. Uh, I'm currently running on 2.0.0.2 .0 and I've also got a link in the description to the forum. It's the wrong link. Kirsten does a pretty fantastic job of um, uh, replying to any um, feature requests and um, posts. We really hope I'm not butchering your name. Um, so let's have a look at the overview of the scene. So in the interest of disclosure, I'm not employed by AMD. I'm not being paid by AMD to do this. But they have loaned me hardware on which to render the scene. Um, they've loaned me a Pro Duo. Uh, the link to my workstation specs is in the channel description. It's nothing special, it's just a Z87Z1 and the Pro Duo. Um, if the movements look a bit odd, it's because I'm using a 3D mouse. This is the basic overview. So we've got a seating area, customer section, so closing rooms. Another soft seating area with an illuminated flex face sign, which should um, give me the opportunity to use some self illuminated materials. And I've set the cameras up roughly to imitate the um, uh, images from the uh, Flickr site. Um, not perfectly, obviously. Um, I've kept the depth of field to similar settings. Sometimes I've adjusted it just for our preference. There's a couple more I've added as well, just to add a few more. There's one down here that I've added. Um, and we pro in settings. I'm using the built in time location sun sky. Uh, I'm not using any tone mapping or any extra camera settings. Anti aliasing, I got to basic. There's no point in putting production ones on just yet. I was always sat here forever watching not a lot happen. Uh, ray depth at 25. This is um, similar specs to any other path tracer plugin for Studio Max. So let's fire one up and have a look. I know you can listen to dead air. So at the moment it's a white card scene and the rest of the um, parts of this project will be focusing on lighting a bit more and materials. Some videos won't be dubbed uh, or won't have audio, it will just be maybe 5-10 minutes of me applying materials, experimenting. Uh, lighting wise I'm using photometric lights. The LED edge light I'm actually using self illuminated material for better results and I'm using uh, photometric lights or corona lights. Uh, these point clouds are corona proxies. I also run a corona license for my CPU rendering. Um, I tend to do both CPU and GPU. I don't like to pigeonhole myself into one or the other. Um, I've got some photometric lights turned up I don't want to use just yet. Self illuminating material on the TV screen. Um, and 
once this is done or, or once I've stopped the showcase here I will load up some pre-rendered ones in um, the production VFV I'm also using VFV plus 2.8 for that as well of course it doesn't appear in active shade Field is a uh, built in physical camera. Also, rendering on both Pro Duo cores as well. into production mode. Find it out last night. Plus, you've got much more tone mapping options than the standard Studio Max ones, or the built in Pro Render ones, and you've got a little bit of noise reduction as well. But, of course, it's not one destructive, so if I load up another one, I'm going to have to move the settings. This one here. Other third party plugins I'm using for the scene are CG Sources Floor Generator, I'm using that for both the floorboards and the tiles. I believe that's it. Hope you enjoyed this and um, check out any following ones if you want. Thanks.